man, I'm kind of sad that I actually missed last week's episode and wasn't able to do an impression on it because, man, I would have had a lot to talk about. But yeah, I got done with the 16th and 17th episode of So I'm a Spider, So What? And man, there's a lot to really unpack here. And it's really great because I was I was hearing whispers that this, these the, well, at least last episode was going to be a lot to do with the human side of things, but they, they dropped some bombs over there. So basically, to recap things, we just left off. Kumiko was evolving again. She gained a new form and a new race, and she now has immortality, which was like, a, okay, we have a one I win button at this point, but it didn't really take long before they kind of established that yeah, she's, she still can technically be killed because if her soul is destroyed, possibly by the Demon Lord, she's she's good as gone. But yeah, she was kind of relaxing, fishing, <laughs> one shot a dragon after we seen the other side kind of struggle with a dragon, or water dragon anyways. And then one of her, her, ma- her magic's other self, mind self, pretty much told her, there's somebody stronger than the Demon Lord coming right your way or stronger than Mama, and it ended up being the Demon Lord. So we finally have separated the two at this point for now, <laughs> but I'll get more into that later. But uh, yeah, we, we have established that the Demon Lord did exist, you know, before her time. But oh yeah, they also had uh, Kumiko meet the Administrator D again, or at least talk to her on the phone. And we established at this point that Administrator D is part of the classroom, she is one, or this, I think they're they're claiming that it's a she, but this other person is technically, a was a part of the class, but didn't reincarnate themselves. They became the administrator because they were already part of this particular world that was created. So they established that this, one of the classmates were a part of this world before, or controlling the world anyways. And at some point, the previous demon lord and hero used some crazy, uh, you know, dimensional magic and were trying to escape from the world. They went outside the bounds of the rules of the system and essentially the location they were going to was, you know, ended at this classroom and the classroom was destroyed. All the class members and the teacher were killed at that point and the administrator D took all the spirits or the souls of all these students and the teacher and reincarnate them into that world. So they kind of just swooped them up and said, okay, you're going to go over here, but again, didn't reincarnate themselves. So very interesting. Uh, but that was uh, quite a lot of information to kind of dump out of nowhere. Kimiko did try to get their name, but they never really were able to get that out of them. Uh, I guess right now I'd kind of lean towards Spooky because Spooky was definitely a lot of focus in this episode. It seemed like it was more focus insinuating that Spooky was the Demon Lord. But again, that goes back to the aspect that the Demon Lord was technically uh, could have been existing before then because we found out the Demon Lord is supposedly... I, <laughs> more of that later. Uh, on the other side of things, and at, at the end of the, the whole Kumiko side, we pretty much have uh, Kumiko's body self inside of Mama ends up, even though Kumiko, the Demon Lord thought to kill De- uh, Kumiko, uh, they were still inside of Mama, so she's like, okay, the, then... Kumiko's can't be dead. This the spider can't be dead. And that's when Kumiko's body self jumps into the Demon Lord. And now the Demon Lord is dead set on killing Kumiko at this point because now, you know, one's inside of her. So, yeah, crazy stuff. Uh, on the human side, they <laughs> pretty much answered my question for my last episode where I, I criticized them for not just flying over the labyrinth. But apparently that's dragon territory and they would easily be shot down. So they decided to jump into bathing suits, because <laughs> why not? <laughs> Have to get an excuse to turn Faye into a humanoid form, because apparently she can humanize. And so now they're on bathing suits, and they jump into the sea, and down into an entrance where they learn about labyrinth sickness. They learn about the, uh, technically the offspring of this evil dreaded spider, which we're assuming is Kumiko, because she didn't. he's talking about that this spider didn't attack and um, so, again, it's uh, assuming, assuming that those are offsprings of Kumiko that they ran into. And these offsprings basically were all talking as if they knew about the reincarnates and the world was going to end. So they all kind of mimic what Kumiko is in the mindset right now. So, yeah, crazy stuff. But... Uh, yeah, that was about that was about it for the human side, I believe. I, I think. Oh, they were called vestiges. They weren't considered offspring vestiges, but anyways. 
Yeah. That was uh, some crazy stuff. So, like I said, they there. <laughs> I had to text Chris because I'm like, I hate this because so much technically was revealed, but so I don't trust this writer anymore. I I, I assume misdirection and anything that happens. So, essentially, they had a couple points in here which they kind of insinuated a connection between the past and the present. So, in the past, we pretty much established that Kumiko is still fighting Mama. She did take out the, the puppet, and she was then killed by the Demon Lord, and then one of her other selves possessed or got inside of the Demon Lord's mind. So the Demon Lord wants to kill her. So this pretty much establishes that this form of Demon Lord that we see in the future, which looks like this, was in the past prior to Kumiko even engaging in this Demon Lord. But, again, that... Even though that can break the idea that this is the Demon Lord is Kumiko, it doesn't because technically we could still have Kumiko overtake the Demon Lord's mind and then control her at that point. So the future self of the Demon Lord could still be Kumiko. So we're still establishing that. They did have a moment where they showed uh, the Demon Lord say that there was one spider that that, that she was that she could control all spiders that she was the. Uh, they were all offspring of her. Even Mama was the offspring of the Demon Lord of the past. But that's assuming that the the Demon Lord that we are seeing in the future is not Kumiko. They could still all be her. But she did say that one, w she couldn't control one of them. One of them was, wasn't obedient. And then it showed the white cladded lady. And again, this is throwing a lot of misdirection to make you assume that they're talking about this white cladded lady being Kumiko. Kumiko would not listen to her. She somehow gained control of her. Cut shot from white cladded lady to Kumiko. Again, this is a could be misdirection. It's not it's not completely saying that the white cladded lady is Kumiko. It could be though. What it could also mean is that the demon lord is specifying that one was not obedient and pointed at the white cladded lady. The white cladded lady being Mama. It could be the previous demon lord. And that she took over her and put her inside of this, this body. That's where I'm more leaning towards. Because again, we still have to assume that the demon lord, based on one comment, talking about Shun, you know, being upset that he's going to kill her, uh, his, his brother. That's what the demon lord said. So unless the previous demon lord, the one that we see in the past, is a reincarnate, maybe spooky or somebody, it doesn't make any sense. It makes more sense that the Demon Lord, again, is still Kumiko, and that the white clad lady could be Mama or the previous Demon Lord that she couldn't take control of, even though she learned how to control other spiders, and that all these vests... I, I think the big killer is still that in the future, they run into all these vestiges, and they're all seemingly uh, Kumiko's vestiges because the way they act and if you have a demon lord later on saying that they're all oh, well that's okay that's my territory because they're all my vestiges yeah it could be a, a chain of command i control kumiko and thus kumiko controls these things but it makes more sense to me that it's direct uh reference there so yeah <laughs> i it is it is crazy though because i i think the thing that i'm struggling with the most is they put so much focus on on Spooky in this episode, which is the one of the classmates, they call him Spooky. Um, so much focus on him, but that insinuates that he's a part of something very important right now. He was having this darkness dream, or the hero was, or Shun was, and it was he thought of Spooky. And that kind of puts it more in the idea. So, okay, <laughs> let me collect my thoughts here. So my, moon, my, my my new two main theories here is one, I still remains my previous one, which is Demon Lord is still Kumiko. Kumiko controls White Clad Lady. White Clad Lady is either uh, Mama or the previous Demon Lord. And that kind of works all right there. My other theory is that the Demon Lord is Spooky. Spooky uh, took control over Kumiko and Kubinko is now the White Clad Lady, and she's now being controlled by the Demon Lord, even though she doesn't want to. So, yeah, I, I it is kind of an interesting thing, because I, I kind of want... I like the idea of it being Kumiko. It makes sense. It makes sense to, again, the previous comments. It makes sense to 
the idea that she's able to, you know, seek out to stop this destruction. And this is the, what she's doing in order to do that. But I also kind of like the idea that the fight is not over yet. Because the way that it's set up with the theory that Kumiko is the demon lord, it already seems like the fight's over. Like, she's already, she's already winning. She's already established everything. Yeah, she might run into the hero and then have to, you know, slap down Shun. But it it would leave more to be still in conflict in the future if it's not Kumiko and that she, as maybe the white clad lady, still has to rise up and defeat the demon lord that knocked her down before or defeat Mama that was that knocked her down before. I guess technically at this point, we have fully 100% established that pretty darn sure it's not Mama no more. <laughs> we can we can kind of throw out that theory now. It's either still the, pre, the past demon lord or it's Kumiko. I don't see Mama being, uh, I guess, relevant enough that she would do what Kumiko won't do or can't do, or to do, to overtake something that has ultimate control over her. But, yeah, that's, that's kind of where, where I'm leaning at there. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> Administrator D and their comment about having been a part of the class, I guess that would be my other thing that I would think that they would be th showing spooky for, was that, I guess my, unless it's going to be somebody completely left field that we don't know about yet, um... I kind of think that the way the way they can put Spooky is going to be that he was a part, that he was Administrator D. That when everybody was killed, Administrator D as Spooky reincarnated everybody and threw him in this world. It does give an idea to somebody that would have, would get fun out of watching others struggle. Uh, Spooky is established as being this character that is bullied, that is an outcast. And while they could help the class it wouldn't be completely as I helped you by reincarnating in this other world and gave you peace. It was a reincarnate into this other world and then I'm watching you struggle. So it does give credit to the idea of Spooky being Administrator D. Even though, again, they've kind of, I think they've kind of gendered as, as female, but I'm, again, that could be just be a translation thing. I think that's it. <laughs> I think I've covered everything. <laughs> A lot of stuff to go over. I, I, like I said, I texted Chris and I, and he's like immediately, man, it would be great to have a, a you know, a joint video recording to talk about it. And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's perfectly fine. Let's do that. So we might do a, a combined recording. I just want to get this video out here, you know, alg algorithm reason. And because people have not had my thoughts on this show in about two weeks now, and I wanted to get this out here. So again, we might do an, a combined video later. Uh, so look forward to that possibly. But I hope you guys enjoyed my impressions of the, 16th and 17th episode. Looking forward to more. And I hope you all enjoy it. As always, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode in the previous episode. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you all enjoyed. And you all take care. Oh, I forgot. I love the Ushio and Tor reference.